since couple of days election results are in the news everyone is discussing the numbers that who has got how much votes but is it just about the numbers hello and welcome to the in focus series of drishti ias i am ritu and today's session is about csds lok niti post poll survey report so this survey report is not just pre poll that who had voted whom but this is about the post poll survey report that what kind of voting behaviors what kind of the electoral supports the voter had shown to the different political parties so moving towards the points of discussion part first of all we are going to discuss the news then we are going to discuss the overview of this particular survey then we are going to discuss the voters have given preference to whom party or candidate then we are also going to discuss electoral support of different social categories and after that we are going to discuss practice question for prelims before that you have to like share and subscribe to the drishti is channel moving towards the news part so csds is a what you can say autonomous social science research institute who has been established by rajni kothari so this particular research institute research on a various social issues and election is also a important issue of the country so that's why they do the pre poll survey the post poll survey and also they study the voting behavior and different kind of the social issues so what this post poll survey talk about so they have said that the silent voter had shown their strength toward this time and this time the result was unusual not like the previous ones and this time we have a coalition government last time also we have a coalition government but there was a one party which is the bhartiya janata party which was in the majority and if any coalition breaks the coalition so that has no impact on the bjp because they were already into the majority but this time the number is different they are not in the majority so this is the actual coalition government so that's why this particular poll survey we are going to discuss coming to the next one which is about the overview so as uh, in this slide we are going to discuss about that what is the overview of this post poll survey so as the main highlight of this post poll survey is the coalition government so i already had explained this thing to you that this time we'll have a coalition government because the bjp has not got the majority or not any political parties has got the majority and there are also two important distinctions the firstly the composition of the two alliances so here there is a coalition government and there are the composition of two alliances so we have this nda versus india and uh, in nda majority party is dominant party is uh, what you can say bjp and in india the dominant party is indian national congress so here they had discuss about it how much votes and how much total account they have so in nda the bjp accounts 80% while in uh, india the congress accounts little over 40% so there is a difference between both two alliances india is a group of many alliances but here in nda there are groups but there are only few groups the second thing is that the number of non bjp nda had risen earlier it was in 50 in 2019 but this time it is 53 and bjp had fallen over by 63 seat so this time they had lessen up the 63 seats and the main anchor has failed to perform adequately so this is also one of the reason and the decline in the seats of the bjp was largely on account of its performance in the hindi heartland so as you already know that bjp got less seats in uh, uttar pradesh rajasthan so this is also one of the reasons that the seat got lowered similarly we can also see the declining trends in maharashtra karnataka and west bengal so where regional political parties had got the more seats so uh, coming to the other one which is about the the support and opposition to a third term were clearly on a party lines so when it asked that what on which basis the voters have voted so it is the support is garnered on the clearly on the party lines it means that they had given the preference of party more those who have favored re electing the bjp justified the two things 
that uh, if the voters behavior will be asked or analyzed so on which basis they had supported the bjp government so the first thing is that good governance and development so on these two issues they have voted to the bjp government and the other hand who had not voted to the bjp government their issues are the unemployment and price rise so economic issue is the major reason and because of that we can see that the people had supported the other alliance rather than the nda and there are three categories which has been highlighted by the csds lokniti report the first is the fully satisfied it means that they are fully satisfied with the bjp government and the current uh, political party bjp and also the current uh, pm who had resigned uh, yesterday which is the narendra modi and satisfied with the incumbent government so sometimes they can have a uh, dissatisfaction towards any party leader but overall they are satisfied with the nda government so that's why this is the second category and the third category which comes the dissatisfied so they are totally dissatisfied neither with the party candidate and also with the leadership so because of that they are uh, dissatisfied and they had voted opposite so coming to the other one other one is about party or candidate so this is a very crucial question in any electoral aspect that whether the voters are voting on the basis of party or candidate so what csds lokniti survey tells us so it tells us that the voter behavior is based on the party lines not on the candidate lines and this is a very big thing because in social media and in media there were so many apprehensions there are so many speculations and so many narratives are running on that people are voting on candidates line suppose that it is not declared that who was the face of india alliance but in nda it is almost declared that narendra modi was the face of nda alliance but what this particular report and survey tells us that this is not based on the candidate basis in which that voters had not voted the bjp government because of the narendra modi they have voted bjp government because of the party so this is one thing which has we have got from the survey the second thing is that there is a clear 5% point decline in the preference of narendra modi uh, from 2009 when you compare so how many voters have given the priority and preference to narendra modi so there is a minus 5 which is 5% decline into this thing and the gap also reduced so there was a significant gap between the uh, party candidate is just like from one party we have narendra modi and from another party we have rahul gandhi but this gap has reduced though narendra modi is much higher into this kind of preference but earlier the gap was very much high but right now the gap has been reduced and the main factor in the bjp campaign this time around had a much lesser uh, compared to the previous election so here what we have seen that in 2014 and 19 the campaign had a huge impact on voting behavior of the people and it had impacted the minds of the voter but right now this time the campaign had not become that successful and it was less successful than previous two ones Uh, then we come to the other one which is what are the focus areas on which the voters have voted so they were focus on schemes just like ayushman bharat manrega scheme and also public distribution system and ujwala yojana so from these two schemes people were largely dissatisfied because they said that the government has launched these schemes but that are not reaching to the doors of the people and the from second two schemes which is public distribution system and ujwala yojana people are somewhat satisfied because it had made a good impact then we come to the demographic factor so what we have seen that higher percentage of support among the younger voters were and they have given to the younger voters have given vote to the bjp overall when we compare to the congress voting base then uh, it is spread across all over the age group while the bjp continue to hold on the votes of the rich and congress has a vote lines of every uh, rich and poor then we come to the uh, bjp did well in the south and east this time in kerala also bjp open its accounts and in eastern india also the bjp has done well but in hindi heartland and in north indian belt the bjp had not performed according to their expectation so this is also one of the reason that's why their seats has lessened up so this is the thing 
then uh, we have another one which is the electoral support so here there is a two baseline for the electoral support and the first thing is that continued limitations in reaching out to the minorities we have often seen that a particular which is ruling political party is seen with a skeptical when it comes to the minorities and we have also heard the various arguments and various allegations by different political parties that this particular party is anti minority so this is also one of the thing that minorities had not voted to the bjp and also the extraordinarily strong base among the upper caste so on one side what we have seen that minorities have not shown interest towards the bjp but on the other side when we come to the caste factor so almost oh, more than half of the upper caste had voted to the bjp so this is also thing that one side uh, the demand and base is very much clear which is the upper caste side and the one side the base is very much low then we come to the uh, what we can see that nda would expect a fairer share of in places of ministry so this time we already know that this is a coalition government and in which what we have seen that uh, the bjp if they will form the government they have to take support of the tdp and the jdu in such scenario what they have to do that Uh, earlier they were in full majority so they have given the main portfolios main ministry to their own party candidates but this time if they are forming the government with the help of other parties it means that the ministry and various kind of portfolios will be given to the coalition government so this change we can expect this time and also bjp might not have many social sections state level among various social sections so what we have seen that in social section so what we have seen that uh, the upper caste are still voting for the bjp and minorities are not voting for the bjp so in this area the bjp has done well but when we compare to the state wise uh, performance then bjp performance has declined then secondly this time we'll have a strong coalition government earlier also we had a coalition government but one party was dominant in this also one party was dominant but there is a problem here the party is not with the full majority so this is the overview by the csds lokniti coming to the question round the question is very much easy i had already discussed this thing who founded center for the study of developing societies and your options are rajni kothari yogendra yado anupma rao atul kohli so this is very easy one you have to answer this into the comment section so you must be know that why we are discussing about such things because this thing is very much important for your essay perspective and for your examination perspective you should have a clear idea about the electoral process of this country voting behavior of this country so that whenever you will write any answer any essay and for your normal general knowledge also this section is very much useful so that's why you should not just stick to the numbers you should also see the patterns you should also see the different narratives different factors which are involved into the electoral process of this country so i hope you like this session if you have any queries related to this session kindly ask in the comment section thank you for more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications